there's been very hot here in the UK for a number of days now. Um, but as we're looking towards the weekend and certainly Monday and Tuesday, um, we're looking at these temperatures in the low 30s, which is pretty high for the UK. And there is still this possibility of, you know, reaching up towards 40 degrees and um, breaking those records that we have here in the UK. And that's very frightening in a way that even some of the computer models are picking up these extremely high temperatures. And certainly even in the low 30s, we're going to see people really struggling in the heat and the infrastructure struggling. So it's harder to cope with these types of temperatures in the UK because we're just not used to them. So our bodies are not acclimatized to these types of things. We also don't know what to do in the heat. So um, I really encourage um, people to close their curtains during the middle of the day when it's hottest and close the windows, keep the heat out because it's not obvious because in the UK, we're used to trying to keep our houses warm. And, and, and so we use curtains in a different way. So it's about that lived experience of the heat. And we don't have the houses designed to keep cool. We don't have air conditioning. Um, our infrastructure is not built for the heat at all. So we need to try and keep our bodies cool because otherwise they overheat inside and then, then things start to go wrong with our blood pressure um, and you know, eventually our heart and, and other internal organs. We, we drink water you know, to keep ourselves um, hydrated so that we can sweat. Sweat is a really, really effective mechanism of keeping ourselves cool. But when we get to a certain point, um, our bodies can't, you know, they shut down, they stop to sweat and, and things are really going wrong at that point. And that's when we need to get to a cool environment, um, a, a cool space.